Hello ladies and welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia. This is the second video in my series of looks inspired by my favorite TV show, Game of Thrones. In this video tutorial, I'm focusing on House Tyrell. House Tyrell's colors are green and gold. Their house sigil is a golden rose on a green field. The main characteristics I've noticed from the, the characters in House Tyrell are beauty and wealth, uh, greed, ambition, and cunning. These last three, they lightly veil by strategic acts of generosity and kindness, and also their feigned piety. My makeup is n a natural look with a bit of an edge. For this look, I wanted something a bit over the top, very eccentric. So I'm using four scarves. I have a green scarf with a gold trim. I have a cream color of the same scarf and a tan color of this again with the gold trim. I also have a cream gold shimmery from Rapunzel. I'm going to start with the green scarf. In the front, I want the pure green to show through. So I'm going to fold over the edge and tie the scarf about equal tails, just straight across, making sure that I hide all of this gold. The second scarf is the cream color. And I'm going to tie it at an angle, again with the tails about even. I'm going to bring the cream tail under the green tail. and tie in the back. All right, and at this point, I'm going to adjust this so that it's slightly folded under. And now the tan scarf. I'm going to do the same. Tie at an angle, the opposite of our original, and bring the tail underneath, the tails on this side. tie. Okay, so I have three tails on each side. I'm going to adjust so that this is where I want it and do a little a little fold under just like we did on the other side. It's much easier to do these tiny fold unders after the scarf is already tied. Okay, 
you can this part here you can show as much green as you want or as little green you can have the point in the center or off on either side So I'm going to take this side and I'm going to braid these three tails. Not too tightly or your, your scarf ends will be too short to go all the way across your head. Just going to drop those to the side and put on my last scarf. Now this one I want to place further back with even tails. And I'm going to reach it under both sets of tails. Oops should probably have taken this off. Reach it under both sets of tails. Do not tie, just crisscross in the underneath. I'm gonna take this necklace off. My scarves are getting caught. So now I'm going to create the veil portion by starting with the green. I'm going to take and open up my scarf end, bring it around the back. I'm going to turn and I'm just going to let it hang. And then I'm going to pin. And I'm going to pin this in place. You can see. Then I'm going to take the cream. And do the same. I'm going to open it up, grabbing a corner, and place it in the center. And pin. And finally, this third. Okay. Now, to complete the veil, you can see I have all these, these layers. I'm going to take the same side and bring this cream gold shimmery up to cover. And you turn around and you'll see it's covering all of those. I am going to pin right here. And the same with this braid forward. The same goes for this side. 
bring it up. And adjust. And pin. Now the braid, make sure it, if it has come undone, make sure to rebraid. And the braid will be brought up sort of like a headband. And I'm placing it across this line the, of the shimmery scarf. Not too far forward, but I just want to cover up that first bit. Now, I'm going to pin this in place. I really liked the roughness of the open ends because it shows an unraveling and the if you've watched the show, you know that the house, the power of House Tyrell unraveled in the end. It came apart. All right. I don't mind seeing the pins, but if you don't want to see them, you could use pins that don't have a big pearl end on them, or you can hide them a little bit better. But this is my Tyrell green end cream and gold look. I'll give you another view of the back. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching.